Pierre Rolland is one of those riders whose name is synonymous with the Tour de France. You can almost guarantee that we'll be seeing plenty of him, and therefore we will also be seeing plenty of this, his bike. It's a Cannondale Super 6 Evo, and lucky Pierre, this is brand new. The entire Cannondale Draft Pack team have been given new race bikes for this year. Let's take a look. So what do you need to know about this frame then, other than the fact that it's brand new? Well, this is very much a traditional frame and it is exceedingly light. Candel quote weights of less than 700 grams for the bare frame. I suspect from looking at this paint job though, this one will weigh a little bit more. Paint is bizarrely notoriously heavy. Now there's not a single nod to aerodynamics on here, other than the fact that the tubes are reasonably slender, but it's a traditional frame that I think suits quite a traditional type of rider. Certainly the mechanics say he's old school, but more of that later on. As well as getting new frames, the riders are also getting new Dura-Ace. Now I say the term new Dura-Ace quite loosely because it was technically released over a year ago, but here it is. We've not seen much of it on race bikes until now. So this is the new 9150 Dura-Ace Di2. Particularly, the rear derailleur has a really useful touch, mainly for the mechanics actually, not the riders, but it's got a slightly longer cage on it, and so that means that they'll be able to use 11 to 30 tooth cassettes on here without swapping the rear derailleur, whereas they used to have to swap it out for an Ultegra Di2 rear derailleur. Currently though, Roland has got an 11 to 28 cassette on here, and then 53, 39 chain rings up front. And that's not, you'll notice, a Shimano crank set, that is Cannondale's own chain set with an SRM power meter on there as well. The team gets to use Mavic wheels and Roland is currently using the Cosmic Carbon Ultimates. As I suspect he will for most of the race actually, they're super light, just 1250 grams for this tubular version. But of course, they do have deeper wheels at their disposal for the flatter stages, the sprinter stages. Tires, meanwhile, are unbranded. The only giveaway on there is that they say made in Italy. So I'll let you draw your own conclusions from that. And even the width actually isn't visible. So I'm bringing out the calipers, 25.2. You might expect aerodynamically that works better on these slightly wider wheels as well. Now, then, what about the fact that Roland is called an old school rider by the team mechanic? Well, part of that is due to his choice of saddle. It's a Physique KS and in the words of the mechanic, it's like a settee. Roland has chosen comfort over there, and who can blame him? He's going to spend plenty of time in it, but that was the main reason that he's gone for a really big, old, comfortable saddle on there. And then there's his position on the bike as well. So there's not much drop between the saddle to the bars, and then there's a massive stem on there. So he's using FSA bar stem and seat post. The stem itself is 140 millimeters long, so that's pretty epic. And it's not slammed either. There's a couple of spaces underneath. And then the handlebars too, again, according to the mechanic, are slightly old school. He's still going for 42 centimetres wide. So rather than going narrower and more aero, it's very much a traditional, comfortable and very cool race bike. I think we need to weigh it though. How light is his bike? That's not bad, is it? With a Garmin attached as well. That's a pretty light bike. Now, before we leave Pierre's bike, you will be wanting to know, I'm sure, his saddle height and the reach to the bars. So, seat height is about 77, and then the reach to the bars, to the tip of the saddle, ooh, it's pretty long, 59 centimetres. So, a 54 centimetre frame, but that is a long old reach on there. Now, if you would like to see more pro bikes here on GCN, firstly, you should definitely subscribe to the channel. To do it, it's completely free, you just click on the globe. And then our pro bike playlist is just down there. And for more from the Candel Draft Pack team, I suggest you have a sneaky look around their mechanics truck. That one is just down there.